What's up everybody, my name is Joey. I am a third year student here at Valpo studying health science. Hey guys, my name is Anna and I'm a civil engineering student. <laughs> we are super excited to take you around Valpo today. We're gonna show you around all our different buildings and what we have to offer. My personal favorite thing about Valpo is the opportunities I have here to lead and serve. And I love the fact that we have this individual attention that we get from our professors. So now that we kind of introduced ourselves, let's go on tour. All right, so we're here in the Chapel of Resurrection. And fun fact, the chapel here at Valpo is the largest collegiate chapel in the United States. Wow. So here at Valpo, there's a lot of ways to worship. In fact, there's eight ways to worship every week. We have five services Monday through Friday called Morning Prayer, where we take 20 minutes out of our morning. And then on Wednesday nights, we have Celebrate, which is a student-led service, a little bit more contemporary. We have live music. And then our pastor, Jim and Deaconess Kristen, give a little bit of a sermon. That's personally my favorite one. And then we have Sunday morning prayer, um, which is a traditional Lutheran service. And then we have Sunday candlelight at night, and that's singing hymns, and it's all done in candlelight, super beautiful service. Um, you don't have to be Lutheran to come here, though. We are a very welcoming community. Um, we accept people of all different faiths and backgrounds. So the chapel is really awesome because it's not just used as a place of worship. There are tons of things that go on in here. Yeah, so anything from opening convocation where we're welcoming the freshmen into our community to concerts. Martin Luther King Day celebrations, awesome stuff goes on in here. <laughs> Welcome to the Christopher Center. This is our library here on campus. Let's show you around. Yeah, so a lot of great resources here at the library, one being the Writing Center here on campus. You can schedule appointments with the Writing Center from blocks of 30 minutes to up to an hour to kind of go over your paper with whatever stage it's at, whether it be just drafting up an outline or maybe just getting final edits on your paper. So it's really a resource for you to use at any stage of your writing process. And then we also have the Academic Success Center, which is a place you can go for peer tutoring. You can make appointments or you can walk in. So here at the lobby, the first two floors are open floors to talk as you wish. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of open space for studying and group work, a lot of computer space as well. So this is one of my favorite spots on campus personally, just to hang out and also to study. We have these really awesome couches and different chairs. It's a nice place to come to be able to read and to just do homework with friends. Um, I like it because it's really cozy. We have these on every single floor of the library and you get a really awesome view of the chapel too. So we also have Grinders Cafe down here in the library where it's kind of a quick stop if you're getting hungry and you don't want to leave. Uh, you can go down to Grinders, get a quick Starbucks coffee, a panini, a bagel, drink, anything of that sort. So as you can see, we're on the fourth floor, so we're trying to keep our voices as quiet as possible. Our first two floors are collaborative, so we encourage people to be able to come hang out with their friends and talk, but sometimes you're going to need to focus on writing a paper or studying, so you can come up to the third and fourth floors and get that quiet time. Here we have collaboration rooms and private study rooms on the third and fourth floor, so if you need to work on a group project, you can come in here and you can study with your friends in a quiet reserve space. So talking about good study spaces, we also have a balcony on the fourth floor where you can go and enjoy great views of campus and study with your friends. So here we're at the first floor of the library where we have the Academic Success Center, the Writing Center, Grinders, and then also IT services. Yeah, so the IT desk can help you with a ton of different things, anything on your laptop to helping you connect to Wi-Fi. I actually had to come down here and ask one of the students how to snap, like make a screenshot on my computer. They helped me with that in like two seconds. I also wrote an IT ticket where we had professional staff actually come into my room my freshman year and they helped me hook up a TV. So right now we've crossed into the Arts and Science building, so we're going to show you around some of our classrooms. So this is a little bit more like conference style, so Valpo is really big on class discussion and making sure that everybody's voice is heard. So we have a lot of classrooms that are set up like this. We have some other ones with chairs that can move around so you can get into different groups and discuss with your peers. So the average class size here at Valpo is about 20 students, which is awesome because the professors know you by name. As you grow in your cohort um, of whatever major that you're in, those classes will even get smaller in your lessons. And then you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with your professors and um, more chance to ask questions. Uh, I had a professor who uh, invited all my class over to have dinner with him and his family, which was really awesome because he wanted to get us to know on a personal level, not just in the classroom. So an awesome resource here in ASC is our Language Resource Center. So a lot of students will have a requirement to take a world language, and what you can do is you can get help from peers who will help you engage in conversation, they can help you with homework, so different tutoring um, right here in ASC. We have a bunch of different clubs here that you can also join through the Language Resource Center. So we have things like ASL club, Korean club, um, Italian club, awesome different things that you can get involved in, so you don't have to be in that class to get involved in that group. Thank you.
All right, so we're here at the fitness center, and this is the place where you're gonna go if you wanna get swole on campus. Uh, we just divided it into half, so the first half here is where we have all the cardio equipment, bikes, ellipticals, treadmills, the Stairmaster if you wanna do some stairs in your free time. Uh, and on the other side, we have the weight section, so we have our squat racks, our free weights, all that kind of stuff. In the middle here, we have some open space for during the day for people to come do their own workouts. If they want to do ab workouts or some yoga, things like that, they could do that here. We also have different classes that you can participate in here throughout the week that are free to students, where you can do Zumba, HIIT training, yoga classes, um, and those can all take place in here too. All right, so we're here at the ARC, which is our athletics facility here at Valpo. Here we participate in Division I athletics. We have 19 Division I teams in total, most being in the Missouri Valley Conference. All home games are free for us to attend, so all you have to do is bring your one card, and swipe in, and free for you to go. The athletic experience here is awesome. We always have a bunch of fans coming, as well as students who gather in the Valparaiso zone with the pep band as well, so it's a really cool experience to be a part of. Right outside, we have Brownfield, where our football team and our women's soccer team play as well. We have intramural sports here as well, from basketball, floor hockey, flag football, and volleyball, just to name a few. Intramural sports is a great way to get together with your friends. Uh, my freshman year, I signed up with my whole floor, and we had our Tough Puppies flag football team, and we did terrible, but it was fun. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Horror Union. Union! The central hub for all things student related. Some of the resources that we have here in the Union are the Career Center, we have our Student Organization Suite, which is upstairs, home of all of our 100 plus student organizations on campus. We have the Commuter Student Center, Gandhi King Center, which is home to the Office of Multicultural Programs and International Programs. And then we also have a study abroad office in there as well. And then we have two dining options that are here in the Union. So we have our cafe and then we have the Founders Table. Food. Uh, <laughs> I could go for something to eat. Yeah, let's go to the cafe. So right now we're in the Campus Cafe. This is kind of a little quick stop if you want to get a quick bite to eat here. We have a lot of to-go items as well as the Green Fork which has things from grain bowls, you can make yogurt bowls, you can do, uh, you can even get Starbucks coffee here. Smoothies, shakes, and then you can buy all of this with your dining dollars that are included in your meal plan. Right over here we have student mail services, so any packages or letters you receive you're going to get right here in the student center. Um, so when you live on campus, you're going to get a unit number and you'll be able to come in here and check out your letters at any time um, during the semester. If you order any packages or anything to the university, you can come pick them up with your one card at your earliest convenience. So if you're looking for something fun to do on campus, we also have the games room downstairs on the first floor of the Hara Union. It has everything from ping pong to pool to shuffleboard to giant and Jenga. Say you want to go outside and have some fun, they also rent out tennis rackets for you to use on our courts out there. Okay, so right here we're in our Office of Student Affairs, so this is where you come for anything you need with residential life. We have three freshman residence halls. We have Brant, Lincoln Out, and Alumni Hall. All of our freshman residence hall rooms have twin XL beds, they have a closet for each person, drawers, and we have a desk and chair for everybody. Also offered in all of our residence halls, we have free laundry, we have computer labs and printers in all of our residence halls. So right over here we have the one card office, they deal with everything to do with your one card and parking and transportation. Uh, your one card does virtually everything here, it's your ID to get into games, to the residence halls, to swipe in for your dining dollars. So it's something that's essential for you to use, so this is a great resource to go to. So right here we have our student organization suite where we have a home of 100 plus student organizations on campus. So there's pretty much something for everyone at any point. And then we also have our commuter student lounge. Being in your freshman year, there's a student activities fair that we hold on the West Lawn of the Union. Uh, basically all the organizations set up camp and you can kind of go through and figure out what organizations you want to be a part of and join. So right here we're in front of the Gandhi King Center, which is our home to the OMP and the OIP. So we also have a bunch of study abroad programs that we have here on campus. So you can do semester long study abroad trips, you can do year long study abroad trips. We also have some service trips that you can go on um, during our two week spring break. I personally have been able to travel to both Haiti and Guatemala over spring break and winter break trips. Um, I got to go with an organization called WAVES, which is working across vocations everywhere through service. So since I'm in engineering, I wanted to be on campus for my full semesters, but I'm able to go on those trips and do service work and get that study abroad fill that way. So we also have the Office of Multicultural Program, which works with dialogues across differences. They house many different organizations uh, that have events all across campus, including the World Banquet, which is a great event to attend. Uh, they also have something called the Can I Series, which works on diversity and inclusion here on campus.
All right, welcome to Founders Table. This is another dining option here for you on campus. It is an all-you-care-to-eat plan, which can get a lot of us college students in trouble because, as you know, we all love to eat a lot of food. And there's a lot of different dining options here that you can choose from. Uh, from the spoon and fork to the clean plate, they offer a variety of foods throughout the week, uh, including from lasagna to chicken parm sliders to chicken wings. It switches up all the time. We also have the 1859 Grill, which, if you didn't know, 1859 was when Valpo was founded. Uh, it has, houses all the uh, chicken tenders, burgers, fries, onion rings, all that, you know, fun stuff to eat. We also have the salad bar over here. We can go and get some healthy food options as well. Uh, we have Bravissimo, which is our pasta <laughs> station, and then the oven, which is, of course, where you get your oven-fired pizza. The awesome part about the Founders Table is that they are very inclusive to all different types of diets. So whether that's vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, we definitely have something for you here. We're here at the Valparaiso University Center for the Arts. Behind me we have our University Theater. Every academic year we have four main stage productions. We have two plays and two musicals, one of each during each semester. So we can have students be involved in those whether they are in theater or music, majors or not. Um, we can have anybody participate, whether that's being on stage or behind the scenes, costume design, choreography, any aspect of our production students can be involved in. Here in the VUCA we also have the Brower Art Museum, which is in fact the only art museum in Northwest Indiana. It houses over 3,000 collections of art here on campus, as well as some student art as well, which is pretty cool. Over here we have the Duesenberg Recital Hall. Over here what takes place is a cappella performance, choir, jazz band, as well as TED Talks take place over here every year. So right now we are in Schnabel Hall, which is our home of communication. So some of the examples of the student organizations that run out of Schnabel Hall here is WVUR The Source, which is our radio station here on campus. So we have students that run their own radio show and then they also broadcast um, Valparaiso University Athletics. We also have The Lighter, which is our student literary publication. So we have people submit all different types of artwork, such as poetry, photography, and just art and drawings. And then we also have The Beacon, which is our Valpo yearbook. So we have another group that organizes all of our photos and information that goes in there that you can get involved in, um, regardless of your major. We also have a weekly newspaper that goes out. It's award-winning. We call it The Torch. It goes out every single week. It's online. It covers campus news as well as sporting events. And then we also have VU TV, which broadcasts more campus news and the weather. And speaking of the weather. All right, so now we're in Kelly Christopher Hall, connected to Schnabel. Uh, here it houses meteorology, geography, and environmental science. Some of the things that students can do here, work in our weather center, do uh, meteorology broadcasting, as well as balloon launching and storm chasing. We're here at Urschel Hall, which is home to the College of Business. It is a direct admit program, like most of our programs here at Valpo. And we offer majors in accounting, business analytics, finance, international business, management, marketing, supply chain and logistics management, and integrated business and engineering. As an AACSB accredited institution, Valpo's College of Business is proud to be ranked among the top 5% of business schools internationally. Top employers target their recruitment efforts at AACSB accredited schools like Valpo. Also, as part of the program, the College of Business requires students to have at least one internship so they get some real world experience. So now we are in the Gellerson Engineering and Mathematics Center. So I'm gonna be here to show you everything engineering and math. So right over here is one of my favorite things that we have on campus. It was a new addition last year. And this is our Council for Engineering Inclusion and Equities mission statement. So we have all of our students sign it, and it is our commitment to make sure that all students feel welcome here in the College of Engineering. Our six different programs here in engineering are civil engineering, environmental engineering, bioengineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and computer engineering, and all of those are direct admit. So those six different programs start out all the same. We have a class called GE100 during your freshman year. That class allows you to explore all six different programs and kind of narrows down your path and lets you make sure you are choosing the major that is correct for you. So coming in, I thought I wanted to be in civil engineering, um, wasn't really sure yet, and that class really solidified that for me. I also had a roommate who came in originally as mechanical and then ended up switching to electrical because she liked that program. So right here, we have our Donald B. Fights Engineering Center. So this is a new addition as of the last decade. This has some state-of-the-art equipment. We have some brand new labs in here. 
So this is our 3D printing lab, which is super, super fun. Um, we have students come in here all the time. Once you take a certification class, you can come in here and do different designs, 3D print your own creations. Um, so that's opportunities for students in the undergraduate level. A lot of the equipment in here is state of the art and not a lot of people get them in their undergraduate program. So this is a really awesome opportunity for Valparaiso students. So all throughout Gellerson, we have labs specific for each major. So we have a brand new environmental engineering lab. We have a bunch of different calculus labs and computer labs in here. We have the materials engineering suite where we get to break steel and wood, which is really fun. I got to take that class last year. And anything else that you can think of that is hands-on, we do in our laboratories here because we really want you to get that experience. All right, so right now we are in our senior design suite and lab. So this is completely dedicated for all of our seniors. So regardless of the major that you pick in engineering, you will have a senior design project that you work on during the entirety of your senior year. So anything that they would like to see come to fruition, they can create. So another awesome laboratory that we have in Gellerson is the Movement Lab. So that's in connection with our kinesiology department and we get to study human movement and injury prevention. So we also offer some really cool classes and programs here in the College of Engineering. One of them really special to me being the Disney Imagineers program. So we have a class that's completely dedicated to students learning about Disney engineering. So they actually get to go to Disney in Florida and they get to learn all about what the engineers do at Disney. They get a whole trip, they get a behind the scenes, they get to talk to the engineers at Disney, ride roller coasters and have a lot of fun. So this is available for all different majors. All right, welcome. This is the Center for the Sciences. And as you can look above, we have this beautiful art display. It represents the visual light spectrum. On the first floor, we have all biology-based labs. And on the top floor, we're gonna have all chemistry-based labs. One thing to note is that this space is primary for lab space and research. Uh, there's actually only one classroom in here. So one cool thing about the Center for the Sciences is that each lab space is kind of set up differently. Uh, when they were building it, the professors kind of got to put in their input on how they wanted the space to be designed. So they're being, the classes are being taught how the professors would like. So lab sizes and class sizes in general, as we said, are pretty small, which is actually beneficial for students a lot of times uh, because you get to know, like I said, you get to know your professors very well. Uh, I just took a microbiology course last semester and my professor after the class came up to me and asked me to do research with him regarding uh, zebrafish and uh, the neuroscience behind that, which I thought was really cool. So that's the kind of opportunities that are available to you as a student here um, because of that interaction with your professors. So again, this is some great spots for studying, but one of the great features about this building in particular is that we have the professor's offices right over here. So if you're ever studying, working on homework or an assignment, need help, your professors are right there to help you. So your professors have an open door policy where if they're in their office, you can just hop in and talk to them. They're always encouraging you to come in and interact with them as much as possible. <laughs> the College of Nursing and Health Professions. Majors include nursing, health science, which leads into the two-year master's in physician assistant studies, public health, and healthcare leadership. Students have the opportunity to study in simulation labs, participate in real-world experience through clinicals, and take part in medical mission trips during our spring break. Hey guys, we want to thank you for touring Valpo with us today. We know it was a long visit, but we do have a lot here to offer. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us on our virtual tour. And then we definitely encourage you to reach out to your admissions counselor at this time, and they will help you with any questions that you might have and future visit opportunities. And make sure to keep up and follow with us on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and the Zemi app, just for every, any future update news. All right, thank you so much. Bye.